Hello everybody! In this video I will show you a primer cube that I made. This is a low budget version so you can easily build it yourself and this one is larger than the original one so as you can already see the magnet array is bowl shaped and consists of 89 10 millimeter cube magnets so with this bowl array, you have a really high magnet density, which results in a very strong magnetic field, which is also larger yeah, and stronger than the original one. And I will show you how you can build and assemble this. Basically, all the parts that you see here are 3D printed, except for the magnets and the motor, of course. And the 3D printing files are in the video description, so you can build it yourself. Now let me start explaining how to build this. First off, you print the bowl-shaped magnet array. You will need some supports when printing it, right in the center part here. So after you've printed it, just take the 10 millimeter cube magnets, preferably of the strongest kind, which are N52 grade, and yeah, place them inside of the holes. Um, use some glue and glue each one in there so they are really fixed in there and they can't come loose. Also, as you probably can see, I have used some glue and added it on top so everything stays fixed in place, which is really important. You don't want to come any magnets or you don't want any magnets to come loose. So, after you have done that, we will look at the holder itself. It is also 3D printed, as you can see, it is just one piece and it holds the motor itself. The motor is, um, the model number is ZY6812. So this is a motor that is usually used for scooters or similar devices and on its axle it comes with a gear and you have to remove that gear before you can attach the array itself. You will probably need some power tools to remove the gear, but after that, you're left with an eight millimeter axle that has a cutout here, which is quite handy because it ensures that the axle can spin freely with the array and everything stays in place nicely. So yeah, once you've built the array, just attach it onto the motor axle and then you take the motor itself and just insert it into this holder that you can see here and I fixed the whole thing with just a screw and a self-tightening or self-locking nut so it is tightly in place. Also what you can see here this white part inside is just a rubber band that I've glued onto the holder and this is for vibration dampening because when the array rotates there will be just some slight vibrations and to dampen them I've used some rubber between the motor and the holder just to dampen the vibrations. And what I've used here is just a regular rubber band like this, cut it here and glue it inside here and one here and one here and here obviously so also on the bottom as you can see i have added some dampeners too these are printed from a material called tpu it is a very soft and flexible material it's also for vibration dampening it's not necessary but it lowers the noise when it's operating and speaking of operating I will show you the array in operation soon, but first let me show you. I've also printed a cover for the whole thing. As you can see, it's just a cover that sits on top and has a hole here where you can um, put the cable from the motor through. And then you just take the cover, place it on top here, and then it is safe to use and yeah because when the bowl spins fast 
uh, it is kind of dangerous because obviously it has a lot of mass and therefore inertia and yeah you don't want to um, touch this when it's rotating and now let me just start it up so what I use for this is just a regular DC power supply and yeah you don't need any motor drivers or anything else just use a regular DC power supply to power the DC motor this is just a 12 volt DC motor and I will use a voltage of around 12.1 volts to get a rotation speed of 3350 rotations per minute this is suggested um, by the original inventor David Lapointe yeah he suggested this would be a good rotation speed I don't know why but yeah I think it feels okay to use that of course you can experiment and use any other rotation speed as well you can of course go faster no problem or slower as you like and yeah that's basically how it operates and also what I can show you with a field viewer here is the magnetic field you can see it extends quite far this is just the field of this magnet array which is kind of strong so what else can I show you I also have a gauss meter to show you the field strength of it and I will just place it back here place the gauss meter here so you can see the readings and here I have my probe if I come close to it you can see the field strength is quite high these units are in millitesla and if I go back further and further and further you will see the field still extends really far and everything beyond one millitesla is really still strong enough for the human body so as you can see in a range of 30 to 40 centimeters it's very usable so one millitesla is still around 20 to 25 times the strength of earth's magnetic field in case you didn't know just to get a reference of how strong this magnet array actually is and yeah what i also have is a smaller version of this whole thing i showed you this in an earlier video from last year now this is the exact same motor also in the same holder but just a bit smaller i can't open it right now because i've glued it all together but it just uses a smaller magnet array and I can show you this under the field viewer it's just a smaller version the 3d printing files for this will also be in the video description just like the others so for the array itself i used the configuration of all of these poles that you see here are facing south pole inwards so all south poles are facing to the center point here i know that the original version um, uses all north poles facing inwards i don't know why that is it is just that I personally prefer a south pole wheel over north pole wheel. That's why I use a south pole configuration. But of course you can use whatever you want to. And for the rotation direction, I go with a clockwise spinning direction like this. So when you look from this, from the front, it's spinning clockwise. And all south poles facing this side. And I got really good results with this. I think the health benefits of it are amazing. I used it with skin issues or back pain and yeah, <laughs> I don't want to miss this device anymore. So if you have any issues with anything health related, just try it, you will be amazed. And I guess that's it for this video. If you have any questions regarding the device, um, you can of course ask me in the comments and 
Yeah, I think that's it for now. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.